So uh, I first tried smoking DMT, dimethyltryptamine, in 1983 when I was uh, 21 years old. Uh, I was at the um, home of a friend's house who uh, offered to introduce me to it, and um, he scraped together a uh, collection of these loose orange-red crystals from the bottom of a kitchen drawer, actually, and uh, carefully placed them at the bottom of a huge glass pipe in his living room where I sat down on a couch and uh, and watched him fire up fire up this bowl from the bottom with this uh, strong it looked like a blowtorch almost that he was using so um he was uh, vaporizing the DMT crystals and I was inhaling them and uh I took three three deep lungfuls uh of this of this powerful uh, plastic tasting uh, substance it, it really tasted awful um horrible in my lungs like molten uh, glass scorching the inside of my chest and um but within seconds of the first lungful of this of this dmt i felt like i was uh, peaking higher than the highest lsd trip that i've ever been on and absolutely insane uh, kaleidoscopic patterns that were unfolding before me and were an order of magnitude more intense than anything i had previously witnessed on lsd mescaline or, or psilocybin and, you know, somehow I managed to inhale two more lungfuls of this god-awful tasting vapor. And a few seconds later, I found myself in a completely different, higher-ordered dimension, complex beyond anything I can adequately describe in the human language. So it was, it was just impossible for me to gain uh, my orientation during the experience, and I witnessed the most, the most incredible things imaginable. This was, this was definitely not a human world that I was in. It was populated by other intelligent creatures, and I was able to see an ever morphing environment, their their world in 360 degrees, and so much was going on around me. I watched in, in spellbound fascination as legions of small elf-like beings were were diving in and out of this strange biological mechanism of some sort, and that was giving them some kind of enormous pleasure. It looked like, you know, years later I realized that that what they were actually doing was they, they were diving inside of a human body and experiencing a whole lifetime. And this was like an amusement park ride from the perspective of hyperspace. So, you know, in any case, it, it just seemed like a brief moment for them to go through like an entire human lifetime. And uh, suddenly I found myself in the grip of this, this intelligent being that was doing something to me that I just didn't understand. I kept, I kept trying to interpret what the being was and what was happening to me, and I felt utterly helpless. I, I was projecting every possible interpretation, millions of interpretations per second onto this being, and nothing would fit. Nothing seemed to make sense. I alternated between states of ecstatic pleasure and, and absolute terror as I wondered, you know, is this being a scientist experimenting with me? Is it, is he good? Is he bad? Is it a he or a she? Is it someone that I already knew somehow? Is, is he a friend, a lover, a parent, an angel, a demon? I mean, was this an extraterrestrial? Was it God communicating with me and experimenting with me? I mean, what was going on? I, I, in some weird way, it seemed that this being was a giant version of myself, actually. Like it was like a gigantically huge and all-powerful David J. Brown <laughs> that was like measuring and adjusting reactions in my brain with extreme precision as he administered a vast series of like intensifying stimuli that seemed to be activating all of my senses at once to their their maximum threshold. Energies just poured into me, and it was beyond my capacity to handle as this being just adjusted the range of screaming sensations, twisting, who had seemed like different colored light filters over me, asking me repeatedly with each click and each change, like this, like this, like this, like this. Then he was trying to determine what the intensity of the sensations were and it was becoming too much for me in, in one brain area or perceptual range after another while I was desperately trying to understand what in the world was happening. So this towering being just seemed to be measuring and adjusting different threshold frequencies in my brain and for experiencing pleasure and pain. And I vividly remember how 
these strong, sweet, and bitter, sometimes metallic taste sensations, strangely and synesthetically blended with continuously transforming extra-dimensional extra and extraterrestrial visual imagery as I pleaded with the being to, please, stop. I learned from the person that I was doing with that I actually said these words aloud. It was simply too much for my poor brain to handle. And much of what happened that afternoon... I have to say it's impossible to remember, but I started to become back to earth and I don't know, it took me a, maybe forever just to remember uh, that I was a human being who had, <laughs> who had smoked a drug, <laughs> um, though it felt like an eternity. I mean, it was only, only around 10 minutes that had actually gone by and I, I was back in my body and it wasn't long before I was asking my, uh, my companion uh, how long it had been. And, and wow, I was watching the vividly colorful tapestry patterns fluidly unfold, morph, and merge, ultimately solidifying into the walls and the furniture of my, of my friend's apartment. And for around 10 minutes more, I felt like I was being shown secrets of how Everything in our reality was being constructed behind the scenes, so to speak, much like a, like a, like a high dose of magic mushrooms, and you know, and I, I was back to, to to baseline in 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 thirty minutes, and and still to this day, you know, that was uh, the most powerful and uh, mystifying psychedelic experience that I've ever had in my life. 